Hello my beautiful book besties and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing a very important topic. My favorite fantasy books of all time. Yes, yes, I know. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. You guys want to know what my favorite fantasy books are. Well, you know what? I am here to tell you. Fantasy, without a doubt, is my favorite genre. It's the first genre that I came into contact with. First genre that I fell in love with. It, it made me love reading. And so I pretty much stuck with reading fantasy books. I read contemporary books, dystopian books, sci-fi books. Fantasy is definitely like my all-time favorite and I have a lot of fantasy books that I love. Just because a book is not on this list does not mean I don't love it. This was really, really hard. It's like picking a favorite child. And that's why none of these books are going in any particular order because it was hard to even narrow it down to my favorite list. I can't rank them. It would be wrong. So let's just get into the video. The first books I'm going to talk about is probably on every single person's list, every single video that you watch about their favorite fantasy books ever. Yes, I'm talking about the Shadowhunter Chronicles. And when I'm talking about the Shadowhunter Chronicles, I'm talking about Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, The Bane Chronicles, and The Dark Artifices Trilogy, plus Tales from the Shadow Market. That's a lot of books. I jumbled them up into one because it is a world that I will never ever not love. It's so crazy like I really don't know how to explain my love for these books but if you've read all these books and just like you know the characters and everything you'll understand I feel like such like a deep connection to these characters like I have known the Harrendale family since like the 1800s. I love learning about these characters and learning about their ancestors and their backstories of their ancestors ancestors and then like their descendants. I loved reading City of Bones and then reading all of the Infernal Devices and then continuing on with the City of Bones series. The way that every single book connects with each other is just like phenomenal. The way she has made every single book and character like intertwine is just like amazing. I inspire to be like a writer like her. She's just amazing. Her stories are just amazing. One thing I also love about this series that it's urban fantasy so that means that it's like a fantasy world in the real world and those are kind of my favorite fantasy books I love urban fantasy I also like high fantasy but I connect more with urban fantasy it's because like I'm living in this world reading a book where there is a world inside my world that I don't know about being like the shadow hunter world it's a wonderful fiction world and I loved reading that it makes me want to like go to New York and like go to London because there's like spots in the book that the characters actually visit it just makes me want to go to those places and like visit them as well and just like you know just like connect the characters and like think about the books and think about the world. Definitely my favorite of all these books is The Infernal Devices you know like Will Herndell, Tessa Gray, Jem, Carstairs like they are my favorite trio. Favorite trio, favorite trilogy ever. Those books just are so entwined in my heart. My next favorite series is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mess. Throne of Glass includes the Assassin's Blade, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash, which was just an amazing finale to this series. The book itself is just like gorgeous. Most prettiest cover of the entire series. It's just full of like heartache and just struggles and like the strength of these characters and it's just it's just wonderful. I think one thing I really enjoy about this series overall is like the character development. There's a prequel novel to Throne of Glass and it's about our main character Selena Siddharthian. She is an assassin and at the beginning of that series like she's so different. Her attitude, the way she presents herself is different. Each book she gets more wise, she gets more powerful, she gets more strong. And I loved seeing her character development, all of the characters developments throughout the series. One thing I also love about this series is that Sarah J Maas has this like ability to hide things from us when we are reading from the character's point of view. If that makes any sense you will be reading from our main character's point of view right and then she'll do something that you don't even know about until like the very end of the book and you're like wait a minute 
how did I miss that? Like, how did you not think that and me not know it? I don't know if I'm explaining that right. It's a high fantasy series about fey kingdoms, you know, other weird creatures, other weird things going on in this world. It's it's amazing and I loved every second of it. If you know you like fantasy books that have romance in them, like these are definitely the, all the books I'm talking about, like they all have romance. The romance in it is amazing. The characters are amazing. The world is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also on the subject of Sarah J Mass, my next favorite fantasy series is the Akatar series. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just gonna say one name, Resand. There you go. This series is like a new adult series about a girl who's a human. She lives in the human world and the human world is cut off from the fey world. These fey are separated by different seasons. So you have like the winter court, the night court, the spring court, the fall court, you know, all the all the courts. At the beginning of the story, our main character Feyre is taken away to the spring court because she accidentally killed something that she should not have. While in the spring court she learns about all the fae and everything that's happening and just like the weirdness of all of them wearing masks because they're under a curse. If you've watched this channel for like a long time you know that like I have like a deep love for like fae and like those creatures like in books. I love the fae in this series. Just like the Throne of Glass series our main character goes through a lot. Like she goes through a lot in the first book and she just continues to grow and strengthen throughout all these books and one thing that is so amazing is that Sarah J Mass is actually turning this into a series so there's going to be even more books about all the main characters in this trilogy and I'm so excited. My next favorite fantasy series is Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I'm talking about the Percy Jackson series and also the Heroes of Olympus series. Now Percy Jackson has a very special place in my heart. These are the books that made me read. I was not a reader before Percy Jackson which is just like so weird, so strange to me. Like my life has completely changed since becoming a bookworm. I remember watching the movie and being so like interested and so invested in it that I went to the library which was so strange for me because I like did not like reading books getting the book taking it home on a break I think and I read it in one day and had to have all the books the journey is just amazing I love it love it love it, it definitely like I have some sort of like nostalgia to it because I, I feel like I did kind of grow up reading those books because when I first read the first book Percy Jackson I think his age in the book was like 11 and I was 11 when I first read the series. So I feel like in some way I've grown up like with Percy Jackson. One thing I also love about Percy Jackson series is that it has Greek mythology in it which is something that I find very interesting mostly because of these books. I was one of the only people in class to like know about all like the Greek gods and all the Greek myths and like one of the teacher would be like how do you know all this and I'm just like Ugh. Percy Jackson. So, like not only is like Percy Jackson just like so epic, he's very educational too. And after the Percy Jackson series, we go into Heroes of Olympus, which has Percy Jackson, has the same characters, but more characters added on into it. And the journeys just continue, the adventures just continue, and the world just expands. This series is definitely just one of my favorites ever, and I, I will make my children read these books. I want them to love books as much as I love books, and I feel like the Percy Jackson series is like the best place to start. Next on the list, we have the Vampire Academy series. Now these are just like the first three books. There are six books in total in this series. They're over there on my bookshelf. I just didn't want to have to drag all these books over here. This is like the movie edition ones. I have like the movie copy because I only read the book like after I watched the movie. <laughs> I know, I know. Not a very good book lover way to do it, but you know, it made me read the books. As you can tell by the title, this series is about vampires going to a school. Not called Vampire Academy. St. Vladimir's is the school name. Like, why couldn't we have just put like St. Vladimir's on here or something? You know, like Vampire Academy just sounds so cheesy. This series is one of my all-time faves because it is so fun like this series is so much fun to read. Carmen Kichter Rose is a dampier which means she is half human half vampire. Her best friend is Lissa Dragomir. She is a Maroi vampire so she's like full vampire. I love like the setting of there being like a school like I don't know I always love like fantasy settings where like it starts like at a high school I guess probably because like at the time when I was reading this I was in high school so it felt like more relatable even though like 
I wasn't a vampire. My best friend wasn't a vampire. Uh, you know, I'm not a vampire, obviously. Unless. No, I'm really not. I'm really not. One thing I can always appreciate in books is good humor. And our main character, Rose, is literally the most sassiest, funniest character ever. She brings so much, like, fun and, like, lightheartedness to this series. All I'm saying is once you start this series, it's really hard to stop. The next series I'm going to be talking about is the Becoming Alpha series by Aileen Aaron. I have every single book that has been published so far in this series. I love them to death. Oh my gosh. It feels so good having all of them. The covers are just beautiful. So let's see, we've talked about Shadowhunters, Fae, Vampires. So let's move on to Werewolves. I have really grown up with this series because when I first started reading it, I think I was like 12. And now I'm 19 and the books are still coming out. In the first book, our main character, Tessa, moves to Texas and finds herself coming face to face with a werewolf. Stuff happens, stuff goes down, and then she gets sent to St. Albie's Academy, which is a school for werewolves. Like I've said before, I love the school setting. Our main character, Tessa, is hilarious. Like, she is so funny. I think she was one of the things that really sold me on reading these books was just, like, her humor. Like, all the characters are just, like, so funny. It's so much fun to read this series. These books are honestly the kind of books that you could find yourself like sitting down to read them one minute and then like all of a sudden it's like three o'clock in the morning and you finish the entire book. Yeah I've done that. I think it's like been like a running theme in this video that I appreciate character development. With so many books in this series I think there's like eight so far. I think there's like a new one coming out in 2020. There has been a lot of character growth. There's also like spin-off books which I love because like the side characters are also really interesting in these books and like you want to read more about them you want to know like what is going on in their lives as well and I really love that Ali Aaron has like written books about them so we can learn more about them and more about their backstories and more about like their life you know I love werewolf books but I can never find any good ones any werewolf book that I've read has been like so cheesy but these books Guys, they are not cheesy. They are definitely not boring. Overall, this series just like took me on a roller coaster and I'm glad it did. I just, I love every single character. I still have like four more books in this series to read and I'm so excited because like one of them is about Meredith, which is one of my favorite characters in the series. The final series that I'm going to be talking about is the White Hot Kiss trilogy. If you know me, you know that I love Jennifer L. Armitrout. I love her books. I love her stories. Her characters are so funny. The White Hot Kiss trilogy is definitely like a fantasy series that is very different than anything ever, ever. It's about demons. It's about people that can shift into gargoyles and they're called wardens. They fight off demons. If you like the Shadowhunter series and you like, you know, fighting off demons, you know, you're gonna love these. Our main character is part warden, part demon. So that means that if she kisses any guy, she's gonna suck out their soul because she's part demon. I mean, not really fun when you're a teenager and in love. Our main character, Layla, finds herself being involved with a demon named Roth. And Roth is one of my favorite characters ever. He's so, he's just, he's just great. And because he's a demon, she kisses him like, she's not gonna be sucking out his soul. The romance in it is like also just like phenomenal. I love it. Oh, this is so annoying, but like, okay, so I have like the first two books and these cover versions. I love it when my book covers like match, you know? Like these, these are the, like they go good, you know? Cause like they match. They changed the covers. It doesn't look bad, but like, it's just one of my bookish pet peeves. The trilogy is just like amazing. And if you guys are looking for like a really, really fun, like interesting, unique fantasy series, you know, this one's one of my favorites and I highly, highly recommend. So there you have it folks. Those are my favorite fantasy books of all time. Now this is subject to change as I read more and more in my life and I have more and more favorites of fantasy books that I love. Maybe in the future this video will have a part two. But I would love to hear what your guys' favorite fantasy books are. Like tell me a little bit about the books in the comments. I would love to get more recommendations from you guys. Leave a comment down below if you've read any of these series and if any of these have made it to your favorites list. So that is it for today guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.